Dear learners, I welcome you all in our today's offline video lecture of class 12th Information Practices. This topic is presented to you by Ankur Pandita, teacher BHSS Dragunga. We are currently studying VB chapter VB that is Visual Basic. We have studied what is visual. I repeat, Visual Basic is a third generation event driven programming language. Uh, developed by Microsoft. It is an improved version of earlier language that was basic beginner's all-purpose symbolic instruction code. Now, it has a facility called integrated development environment. It has an integrated development environment through which we can do all the programming features in one interface. We are doing components of ED. Uh, yesterday we discussed a toolbox. Today we are going to discuss the project explorer. The window displays all the properties of the object relating to the active object user forms or control. So this window, Project Explorer window displays all the properties of the object that can be assigned a design term. That means you can design assign properties to form at the design design time through this project explorer. It will appear in the top left corner of the application by default. By default, it appears on the top left corner of the application by default. This can be displayed by the shortcut key. Note some of the properties are read only and cannot be changed and therefore can only be changed at runtime. Property, what are the properties of this objects, forms, modules, classes and there are also icons, view code, view object toggle folders. So, so it displays, project it displays all works books that are currently open. The pane is identical to window explorer, each project or more node can be expanded or closed. The top nodes represent the currently open workbooks, text, documents, add-ins, templates, etc. And this will vary slightly depending on whether application you are using. You can think of, we can think of a project as a collection of objects arranged in a tree structure. We can expand a project by clicking the plus sign at the left of the project's name. We can collapse a project by clicking the minus sign to the left of the parent project's name. We can probably want to keep, try and keep all the projects collapsed if we are not working on them. We can add as many code modules as we like to a project, although for smaller applications it is probably easier to keep all our macros, procedures and functions in one module. Each project can contain several different types of objects, application objects, standard modules, class modules, uniform objects and references. A user form object actually has two components, the visual dialog box and an associated to code module as well as these. Each application also has a specific object, workbook and worksheets and excel documents and templates in Word. Double clicking on a module item will display a code window. We can double click a module icon to open and activate a module. We can also insert a remove and remove code modules in the project explorer window and click insert to start a new, uh, new standard module, class module or user form. To remove a module, right click and choose remove module. Note that we cannot do this with the modules that are associated with the application objects. Students, this is it for today's topic of Project Explorer window of ID of VB. Students, let us revise this topic till we come with more and more interesting topics related to your syllabus. Students, stay at home, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you.